Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, we are going to help this noob reach max level using the Dole Fruit. Before that, you can show your support by using Star Cold Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Where the Echo Slam oh, there is. passing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so let's start grinding the Dole Fruit. So first off, we have the first skill, the Fried Dough. So we're gonna defeat bandits, right? You need to hit the bandits three times to defeat them. In my opinion, Dough Fruit has one of the best first skills in the game. I decided to leave this area at level 10, but guys, if you want, you can leave this place at level 12. Okay, so for the stats, my first mistake, guys, this is my mistake. I added 24 points on the Blocks Fruits. Next up, the Fountain City. For those who don't know, this serves as a bonus round because you can grind really fast here. For my first mistake, I decided to use Fried Dough to damage the enemy. But the problem is the cooldown, guys. So instead, use your combat left clicks to damage the Galley Pirate. Just make sure that there is a wall in between you to avoid getting damage. And also make sure that you use Fried Dough as your last hit to gain lots of masteries for your Dough Fruit. I hope everything is clear. You're gonna continue doing this until you reach level 55. At check, melee 35, defense 15, blast foots 115. Next area is the pirate village. So we're gonna start defeating Bobby here or Bobby the Clown. Don't worry, it's easy to defeat. We can tank his skills. There you go. We're just gonna grind here until we reach level 75. Next area is the desert. By the way, we've unlocked the roller donut, the F skill. You can use this to travel faster. For the quest, we're gonna go straight to the desert officers. I'm going to show you a tip on how to grind faster. Check where I aim my fried dough. I don't directly hit the desert officers and when this happens, the impact will push them towards the house that will serve as a net. If you do this correctly, you won't need to lure them again which will make your grinding a lot faster. We're gonna leave this area when we reach level 90. Stat check, melee 50, defense 30, and block sports 190. Next up, the Frozen Village. Don't forget the ability teacher, buy everything. Buy the Sky Jump, the Enhancement, and the Flash Step. Moving on, we're gonna start defeating the Snow Bandits. Guys, they're very easy to defeat, so don't worry. You're gonna grind them until you reach level 105. Next is the Yeti. So from here on, we're gonna do Server Hop. This is the fastest way to grind in the first C. Compared to second C, our strategy or approach is different. So make sure to finish this guide if you want to learn. Next area at 130 is the Marine Ford. Additional tip to increase your damage. You can buy the Black Cape in this tower. There you go. It costs 50,000, right? There you go, 50,000. Go straight up to the Vice Admiral. You're gonna defeat him and you're gonna reach 100 mastery with your Dough Fruit and you will unlock your third skill and luckily it can damage your enemy. This skill will throw your enemy wherever you're facing. The moment that you release the hotkey for Sticky Dough. Okay, so back to grinding. We're gonna guide here until you reach level 220. Let's check our stats. Melee and defense is 105, block foots 450. Next up, the prison. So we have three bosses here. First up is the Warden. So this is the technique. You're gonna lure him here. There you go, Wall Strat, guys. Use your Z skill to damage him and your X skill. Yes, it is possible to use your X skill. Go, so very easy. Okay, at 230, same strategy. Lure him here. Guys, you can choose your wall. <laughs> as long as you do this. There you go. Guys, 240 next up is the Swan. Guys, Swan can damage you, but the damage is not that high. <laughs> yes, we can laugh it off. There you go. You're gonna do this until you reach level 350. Again, stat check, melee and defense 185, block fruits 680. Next stop is the Magma Village. So here, we're gonna go straight with the Magma Admiral. So he's easy to defeat, don't worry. Just use your Z and X skill. Again, wait for it to cool down. Use your Z and X skill and that's it. We're gonna leave this area when you reach level 425. Moving on, the underwater city has another boss, and that is Fishman Lord. Again, same strategy, you can lure him here. Check that window, guys, he's there. You can use your Z or your left clicks with your combat. I don't suggest X skill, because sometimes it glitches, but guys, it really depends too. You're gonna do this until you reach level 500. 
after that, moving on to the Skylands, we're gonna start defeating the Whisper. Again, remember this rock, guys. Whisper cannot damage you here, but you can use your skills to damage him. Again, he cannot damage you, so you're gonna use your Z and X skill to damage him. You're gonna grind here until 575. And next up, Thunder God. Guys, you will also unlock your fourth skill, the Carved Doe. This is the skill that has the highest damage so far among the three skills that can damage. So you're gonna use it to defeat your enemy. Guys, don't forget to buy Observation Hockey. Guys, why now? Because you can use this on the next island, okay? Next island. I'm gonna show it to you. If you buy the Observation Hockey and you activate it, and if the enemy has no hockey, it will become a Logia Fruit. Check that out, guys. No damage. So, we're gonna defeat Thunder God until we reach level 637. Or in our case, 68. Next up, Fountain City. Guys, check this out. Gali Pirates, Logia Effect. You can grind really fast here. Guys, we're not gonna defeat Cyborg. We're just gonna grind the Gali Pirates until we reach level 741. Now you are ready to grind in the second C. Let me show you our stats, melee and defense 450, Black Fruits 1323. Now off to the second C, and for our first target, we're gonna start with the Mercenaries. Again, Logia is in effect at this level, so there will be no problems defeating these mobs. So as you can see, there you go, just lure them. Guys, you need to defeat 8 to finish a quest. We're gonna grind here until we reach level 793, and yes, we're gonna skip the diamond quest. Next stop, the Swan Pirates. These mobs cannot damage us, so same with the mercenaries, we're just gonna keep on defeating them. Guys, I told you, grinding here is different from the previous C, because we're gonna skip the bosses here. Like for example, Jeremy, yes, we're gonna defeat him once, I'm just gonna show it to you. Use your Z, X, and C skill. There you go. But guys, again, I told you, we're just gonna focus on the Swan Pirates because we need more mastery to unlock our final skill, the Restless Doe. Check it out. So now we've completed all our skills. We're gonna grind here until we reach level 900. Let me show you our stats. Melee 515 and Defense 515. Blast Fruits 1670. Next area is the Green Zone. Our next enemy, the Marine Captains, has Haki, which means they can damage you, but don't worry guys, you can always use your dash to dodge, or you can use my technique, you can lure them without hitting them. Don't worry guys, you only need to level up 25 levels here, and after that, you can start defeating the boss. Yes, we're gonna do some boss fights now because we've unlocked all the skills. So how do you defeat Fahita or Fujitora, guys? Create distance. Check this out, guys. If you don't create distance, he will cast this skill and you will get hit. Check the damage. Did you see that? So again, create distance if you don't want this to happen to you. <laughs> I hope my instructions were clear. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1029. Stats, melee defense 600, blood fruits 1887. Next area, the snow mountains. The next mob, snow troopers, doesn't have haki. Can I repeat? They don't have haki, which means these mobs cannot damage us. So we're gonna keep on grinding here until you reach level 1131. Let's make it faster, move on to the hot and cold. Lab subordinates, again, no hacky. Now most likely you've noticed that our pattern in the second C is that we keep on fighting picks or mobs that doesn't have hacky. Except for my favorite boss, the Smoke Admiral. Guys, I'm gonna show it to you. 1 C, Z, X, and V skill. Check the HP. Less than half. So just two sets of combo and you're gonna defeat him. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1288. Next up, the cursed ship. So we're gonna defeat two mobs here. First up is the ship deck hands. Again, guys, logia effect, no damage. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1342. Next is the ship stewards. Same strategy. Again, you're invulnerable to damage. You're gonna lure them, defeat eight to finish a quest. We're gonna leave this area when we reach level 1395. After that, we're going to the Ice Castle. We're not gonna defeat the Awakened Admiral here. We're just gonna focus with the Arctic Warriors because, again, we're invulnerable to damage. Okay, so we're just gonna keep on defeating them until level 1473. Before we move on to the final island, stat check, melee 950, defense 1169, blast fruits max. 
final island is a forgotten island. We're just gonna defeat the sea soldiers here. Again, we're not gonna defeat the tide keeper. We're gonna stay away from the bosses. We're gonna fight mobs that cannot hit us. So guys, we're just gonna stay here until we reach level 1566. And for our final stats before we go to the third sea, max black fruits, melee 1048, defense 1350. Guys, by the way, one more tip. If you wanna use your F skill in the water, guys, you should first unlock the fishman race, okay? So this is a different account I'm just showing to you. This account is a fishman race, so there you go. There is no damage when using the roller donut. Anyway, we're moving on to the third C. So for the requirements, you need to finish the Coliseum quest, talk to King Redhead, fight Indra and damage half of his HP, go to the green zone, talk to Mr. Captain, and there you go third C. Okay, so we're gonna go straight with the pirate millionaires, guys. We're gonna grind lots and lots of levels here. Guys, we're gonna skip the pistol billionaires. Even if we're invulnerable with the pistol billionaires, they're so far apart and the quest giver is far. I hope that's clear. We're gonna grind here until we reach level 1659. Next up, the Hydra Island. We're gonna skip all the mobs except for the Dragon Crew Archers. Again, they're the best mobs to grind in terms of distance and experience. Also, we are invulnerable to their attacks which makes it a lot easier. We're gonna grind here until we reach level 1750. Next is the Great Tree. Not like the other islands, we will be doing server hop with the Kilo Admirals. I also decided this boss because it's so easy to get to his location. One more thing, he's so easy to defeat. Just go on top of this rock and you can hit him without him hitting you. You can use your Z, X, and V skill to hit him. Okay? So just keep on defeating him, do server hop until you reach level 1868. And after that, you can now proceed to the floating turtle. We're gonna start here with the fishman captains. Again, no damage. One more thing, I won't be defeating Captain Elephant and the Beautiful Pirate. Again, guys, this is a guide to grinding to make things easier not to defeat everyone. And I hope that's clear. So we will be grinding here until we reach level 1974. Next stop, the Jungle Pirates. This part of grinding will be fast. I think we will just level up here 26 times. And after that, we will proceed to the mob next to it, the Musketeer Pirates. Here guys, we will grind a little bit longer. I think we need to level up here 54 times. Yes, and we're gonna live here, 2055. Yes, our base level. Let's check our stats first. Max Black Fruits, max defense. Melee is 1565. Next up, the Hampton Castle. Yes, we're only going to defeat one mob here, the Reborn Skeletons. And the reason is, yes guys, again, we are invulnerable as long as we turn on our Observation Hockey. Elemental Logi effect, there you go. And again, our target level here is 2,161. Next up, our final island, the Sea of Treats. Guys, last two mobs. First is the Peanut Scouts. Actually, guys, you can level up until max level here because these mobs are so near that you can defeat them really fast and they spawn really fast compared to the other mobs in all three islands of the Sea of Treats. But guys, for me, you can still grind one more mob. When you reach level 213, you can go in the other island and start defeating the ice cream chefs. Because again, these mobs don't have haki, so you can grind here until max level. But I decided to stop at level 299 and defeat Big Mom or Cake Queen for our last level. So is, he, is she hard to defeat? Uh, yes guys, but you just need to like dodge to the side every time you finish your skills and I think that will do the trick. With all the skills of the Dofruit, I think that's enough to defeat the Cake Queen, okay? Okay, and also luckily, we were able to defeat the Cake Queen and get the Body Sword. So I think we're still lucky. Guys, there you go, we've reached max level. For the stats, max melee, defense, and blast fruits. Okay, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate y'all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.